Hey, what's happening, guys? Welcome to the Mission Driven Life Podcast, episode 188 of the Mission Driven Life. Glad you guys could be here today. Glad you guys could tune in. Glad you guys could fucking nail down this value because today, guys, we're going to be talking to you about really something really cool. Something that means a lot to me and could possibly mean a lot to you. I mean, something that can mean a lot to you and something that can really help you in, in your own own life. And this is something that I'm learning about. This is something that I'm gaining. This is something that I've been reflecting on and I've been thinking about lately. And that's been on my mind a lot. So I'm super happy you guys could tune in today. Um, Hold on. Let me just plug in my... Hope you guys like my setup. It's um, I'm getting back here again, and so I used to have my uh, my banner. It was in my car, but now my banner is all good. It's back out in here, so I'm gonna start using my own room again for my studio and filming again, just so it looks more professional for you guys here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Welcome to the Mission Driven Life Podcast. This is episode 188 of the Mission Driven Life. Guys, today I want to talk to you about mission and dating. Thoughts from a confused young entrepreneur. Because I'm just as confused as, as, as it on, on I am. And I'm not an expert on dating at all. I'm no Jason Capital. I'm not Mystery. I'm not anyone on... Uh, I'm not a pickup artist pick up master I'm not a master with women I am just a humble man on a mission today I'm just a humble man and give me one sec sorry things have been dropping here but guys hey listen up because today's topic is about something really interesting it's thoughts from a confused entrepreneur thoughts from a guy like me who doesn't know and understand mission and how to bring the two you know because we could be dating uh, you know whether you're attracted to a man or woman whatever who the hell you like whoever you're interested in this is topic is for you guys and if you're watching the replay just smash the comments let me know in the replay that you're checking me out here let me know that you're watching because look let me know what you think about this yeah I see my friend Adrian here is watching. Hey, Adrian, drop a comment. Let me know that you're here. Because look, I want to ask you guys, look, should you be focused on your mission or should you be focused on talking to women, right? So mission or women, you know, there's the two. And I want you guys to think about it because like, look, there's so many different things that we can look at here, right? There's so many things that we could think about. But I invite you guys to check this out because and ask kind of like, Time, chime in here because I am not an expert so drop in the comments let me know your thoughts so like yo should we be focusing on the mission or should we focus on dating okay so look this is what I'm talking about me actually I'm gonna talk about my experiences I'm gonna talk to you about the date the benefits of dating and relating with women and you know the benefits of having a woman in your life right cuz it's awesome it's great because like, you know, me, honestly, my experience with with women, look, it's, you know, I've been, you know, my experience is that like, I'm focused, you know, I'm focused about, I'm focused for like, to have goals, I'm focused to have great things happen in my life, you know, I'm focused to like build warrior leadership to empower young leaders. And this is a question that a lot of young people can are asking me, like, right? So, because like, I know I am asking this question myself, is like, yo, what should I be focusing on, guys? Because I can be frustrated, man. I can be a frustrated guy who has so many things happening in his life. So, what should the focus be on? Should I be focusing more on doing and taking massive action on my goals, or should I be finding time for women, right? Because I'm I'm always spending time working. I'll be honest, I work a lot. And I'm not here to brag about how much I work, but I'm spending a lot of time behind a laptop, behind a phone, um, with friends networking, or we're planning something, or we're, we're, we're making the phones. There's a lot of things happening in my life. 
And what's really interesting is like, look, guys. Dating isn't my strength, right? Dating is not something I'm fucking amazing at. Dating is not something I love. I, I do all the time. Dating is not something that I'm really successful at. I'll be honest. You know, I have trouble relating with women. Sometimes I see the dumbest shit. Sometimes I see the dumbest things talking to a lady, man. You know, sometimes I see the wrong things, and sometimes I see the most disrespectful things, and it's hard for me. And that's something I'm kind of working on, kind of like have a, how to have a real conversation with a woman, right? Because as much as I can be confident around here and on the phone and selling things, dating is really tough and this really can be a challenge for me. So like, you know, as, as I find time, I'm starting to understand the two balances, right? You know, of my own goals and like, of how much I want to work and make money and like have fun and, like, and, and stay focused on my dreams and like focus on increasing income and training my team and growing my business, doing all these different things, or the balance of having fun, of having fun with people, enjoying my time, right? Um, I don't know, going out to dance or going out to go have great things happen in life, right? Because like, how can I balance that? And I don't know, and maybe you guys can answer that and for, for me. You know, I have a lot of friends here in, in the city that, that are actually really good at, how do you say, um, they're good at, you know, picking up girls. They know how to talk to girls. They know how to take girls home. They know how to do, have great things happen. But like, yo, as I, as I do this, I learned that like, maybe these guys don't work a lot, right? So as I learn from them, I don't know what I should do. Because I know some people are telling me to focus on my own goals and you can do it. And then some people are, are like, yo, you got to talk to ladies sometimes if you want women. And, what, and in this podcast, I want to share with my own confusion, but also want to share and I want to get some feedback from you guys here. If you're watching, what are your thoughts on all this whole topic? You know? Let me know your thoughts. Tell me your thoughts on this. I'm curious of what you think about all of this because I don't want to do this alone. And maybe I could get your help through this here, yeah? All right, so first question that I have is mission or dating? You know, should be focused on the mission or should you be focused on dating? Let me know what you guys think. Drop it in the comments down below because how can we, how can we get the two? You know, one of my goals, obviously, if you guys haven't haven't looked at my at my vision board, I actually have a vision board right here. So I have a vision board right here, and there's a couple things that I have on this vision board. And this one, top corner, I want to speak at the UN. You know, I want to have a solid team. I want to have all these different things. You know, I want to go speak at the Lincoln Memorial. I want to join the military. Like, there's so many things that I want to do in life. But also here is women. You know, there's this guy here with his lady. Maybe you guys can see it. I can show it to you right now. It's like, this is my vision board, right? So like, boom. Some guy happy with his wife. And maybe there's a guy right here who's with his, uh, with his lady, right? You know, and they're working on something. They're working on a project. And there's someone here with a family, right? So as I have all these different goals, like all these different things that I want, like money, vision and all these things are going to happen forbes top 30 under 30 best podcast on business all these different goals i'm wondering how i fit it all in and i know i have some friends here that are watching like jeff Bissett, like and a lot of good friends that that are that maybe have experience in this right you know some men that i know that are married some men that i know that have or have relationships or are dating people already. So let me know your thoughts on that. Because I know, like, look, when I spend time with women, I actually feel great. <laughs> I don't know about you, I feel good. And here's some things that I've, 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 I've gained. Because I know there are benefits and I know working a lot. And I'm not a, I, don't want you, I don't want you guys to be workaholics and always thinking about work. 
I'm thinking how can we have the both and you know where I can focus I can zone in I can have I can be focused on my mission but then I could also be focused on connection relationships women friendships right social life how can I bring the two together you know so let me know your thoughts because I know look when I spend time with women I have I experience these benefits you know I'm more relaxed when I'm relaxed when, I, when I'm around women because I'm deep into my masculine sometimes right I'm if you guys are familiar with the masculine feminine spectrum I'm deep into my masculine at times I'm always doing creating taking action doing all these different things that that there is no feminine energy maybe I'm understanding and I'm listening but when I'm around women sometimes I can start to feel like I can be real in my masculine and I can understand and I can really you know feel that feminine energy right maybe you guys know what I'm talking about you know when the when a woman is like playing with their hair and like laughing and like having fun and like having joy like look I love I love that I love just being around women and experiencing that right but when I'm always doing and I'm always looking and I'm always working on something, I can get pulled away from that energy. And I know, look, if I spend all this time talking to women and like trying to go go out and trying to meet women, I start to pull people away. I start to push them away, you know? But what I found success in, and like I'm not a dating expert as all, at, at this at all, but I know I found my success is when I started to you know come have a balance in my life where I'm not just always working there's maybe there'd be a certain time like on a break at work where I can go and talk to a lady and like go approach them yeah but like yo Jeff like what do you think man like should I be which should it be both or should it be one or the other like so I don't understand right because I got some feedback today from my buddy and his name's Kevin and he's a good friend of mine and he's a very talented sales guy. He knows how to sell. He has a great team. And one of the greatest things that he told me was that I'm going to focus on my mission. I'm going to put all my attention, my 100% attention on my mission because I know when the time is right, a woman will walk into my path, right? A woman will walk into my life. And that's really cool because that's a good point. Because when I spend time trying to chase women, when I spend time trying to fucking get women to like me, I don't really have, I don't really get results. You know, I don't really connect with a woman. <laughs> it's actually pretty counterintuitive, you know? I end up scaring the lady away. But when I, when I take a step back and when I just take a chill and I just zone in on what matters to me, women just start popping up into my life, right? Like a magnet. It just happens. And I think that's one of the best ways that I can really do. You know, I'm still going to go talk to ladies. I'm still going to go say hi and talk to them. Maybe the girls at the, at the coffee shop. I'm still going to do all these cool things and connect with them. But at the same time, I'm going to zero in and focus in on my path. And I encourage you to, to do it as well. Uh, because I know like there's, so there's some guys here that are listening to the podcast right now, like Bruno, who can give me some advice, right? Because you guys are the guys who have experience in this. You guys have so much experience in dating. Maybe you guys are married, right? So I would love your feedback down below and let me know in your comments, like, how did you handle this? You know? Boom. So Jeff, Jeff actually just said 100% let others be attracted to you. And I think you're right. You know, when you're good enough, the right ones will show up. Yo, because I, I used to chase ladies, like, and I, I don't want to, I used to chase a lot of people in my life, you know? I'm sick of chasing. I hate chasing people. But sometimes I chase because you know I, I when I was younger I had a wound where I wanted to I wanted to be loved and sometimes if I felt if I kept going after it and chasing it I would find it. So I started applying that in my life now like I started chasing people, chasing clients, chasing girls, people that I like and and kind of just chasing the shit out of them, you know. But then they just run away. And then now they just take off and they take off from my life, right? So look, Jeff is right. Because look, as much as I want to do so much in my life and as much as I want to take action, look, I need to let others be attracted to me. And when 
when I'm good enough, the right ones will start to show up in my life. So that's 100%. I'm going to stay focused on my path, guys. I'm going to stay focused on my path, and, I, and it just takes strength. And as I was journaling today, because, you know, Sunday is a day off for me. It's, it's, I'm just taking time today to meditate, see my vision. As when, I, when I take time and to reflect, I know, and I was actually journaling, I'm like, yo, Instead of, instead of trying to focus on women, I know it, they'll start to show up when it's right, right? But I know sometimes I want it now. You know, maybe you guys want it now. Maybe you guys want everything that you want now. Uh, maybe, you, like, if you're like me, because I know I'm the same way, maybe you want that relationship now. Or maybe you want to have sex now. Or maybe you want to experience all the cool things about dating now that sometimes... The important things can be taken away. That sometimes I'm not patient. You know, I'm, maybe I'm impatient. And maybe I want it now. And maybe I'm fucking aggressive with it now. But I know when I take a step back and when I chill, it'll all work out. So that's these are my thoughts. I'm not a dating expert or anything. I'm not an expert on how to date women. But I do know that this is something that I'm going to keep going on. And as, I, as, I, as I'm just patient with myself and I just trust the process and I trust my life that it'll all work out. That, you know, the people that are meant to be in my life, they'll show up. And the people that are, are, are not meant to be in my life, they'll leave. And, and you know, they'll, they won't be a part of my life, right? So I guess that's, that's something that I could start doing. And I know I'll go through tough days and I know I'll go through days where I'm going to be needy. But there's going to be times where that's just a chance for me to zero in on my mission and your focus. And maybe that's the same for you. That if you're just focused on all these ladies and maybe you want that relationship now, maybe that's a chance for you to start focusing on your purpose and your mission and get onto your mission-driven life. Right? The mission. It's right there. So instead of chasing... Maybe we could zero back in on what matters and what my purpose is. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. I just wanted to send this message to you guys. Just wanted to tune in and let you guys talk about this because I'm actually going to be talking about this a lot, you know, with mission and dating and talking about it, this experience there, and and just kind of see where it takes me in my life. And uh, yeah, just glad you guys could tune in. Drop a comment. Let me know your thoughts. This is the mission-driven life. Thank you guys for tuning in. Take care.